How are you? Good, and you? Good. Thank you. Sorry. Hi guys. If you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs, so if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to the second moving vlog, you guys. Today is actually Wednesday. It's been less than a week since I got my keys, and this is my new Dyson. Ah, oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just want to be really transparent with you guys. Um, this was a gift. I didn't purchase this. This was a gift from my parents, and just thank you so much, Mom and Dad. I, I told them they cannot buy anything else because I wanted to pay for at least like a portion of this vacuum, but they insisted, and I just feel so grateful and honestly I feel I just feel spoiled so I they're not purchasing anything else but thank you so much mom and dad I know you guys are watching but I'm so excited <laughs> I want to film like a whole entire like tips for moving into your first apartment alone video once I'm kind of ready for that but I've I've been watching so much DIY with KB or Kiva Brent we actually went to high school together but we barely knew each other I was watching one of her reels the other day she, oh if you guys don't know she's like an incredible interior designer and she just you need to watch her YouTube channel she literally has been giving me so much inspiration so many tips and I don't know anything about living alone so or let alone like designing anything so she's been teaching me a lot of things through her videos and I've been texting her for like random advice and stuff but I was watching one of her reels the other day where she was talking about choosing what your investment pieces are with your budget and then choosing the things that you don't need to spend so much on so I've decided for me that one of my investment pieces was a couch which is coming on July 20th I can't wait but the other thing that I wanted to invest in and get something really good that would last me forever is a Dyson vacuum. Again, thank you so much, Mom and Dad. I don't want to tell you guys that I purchased this when I didn't. I did not purchase this, but this is the only thing that they're going to purchase for me, I swear. <laughs> Just thank you so much. And welcome to the vlog. I have lots to do today. I took PTO today to move some more stuff. I want to move some clothes and I want to unbox my standing desk with you guys. I know I've been giving you like little sneak peeks here and there, but we're going to fully unbox it and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I literally can't wait. Also, before I forget, Selena, who's one of my really, really good friends on YouTube here, she actually got that same desk. So if you want to see what that looks like and how she set it up, then I will link her video below. But we're going to go back to the apartment, unbox this and my new desk, and I just can't wait. And I need to move a lot of stuff too. So welcome to the second moving vlog. Okay, hi guys, I'm back at the apartment now and I have my Dyson here. I also have a couple of things that I need to show you guys from Target, but I'm trying to figure out like which thing do I do first? Let's do the standing desk because I know that you guys are waiting to see that. I've been talking about it for like three videos now. So let's unbox my new standing desk and see how it looks. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, before I unbox my desk with you guys, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about the one that I chose. So this desk is the Kamar all-in-one white standing desk and it's amazing because it's height adjustable and there's usb ports and that is literally all i could want and there's even a drawer so yeah before i unbox it i just wanted to tell you guys like what it was and so now let's unbox it <laughs> guys I took the boxes down into the recycling it was quite a trip because it was just me doing that but you guys this desk is so crazy nice what I really like about this desk is that you can lock four different height settings which is really cool because you can basically make it as low or as high as you need it to be depending on how tall you are so I'm five two and a half five three and I set my height level to lock number two which shows that it's 42.2 inches tall so I think that's really cool. Like it doesn't matter how tall or short you are because 
the height that you want it at is adjustable to how tall you are and then you can lock that into a memory setting and then you have your own standing desk it's actually really cool because it's not just catered towards me but like let's say thomas my boyfriend wants to do some work and he needs to use a standing desk i can set his setting to number three and then he knows what height is best for him because he's taller than me i think that's so cool there's also a lock setting so once you press the button then it'll show lock on the screen, which is really good because especially if you're at home and you have children, then using a lock feature is really helpful because then kids can't play with the buttons. And there's two USB ports and one USB-C port. Especially if you use a Mac or you have the new iPhone, then a lot of things are starting to use the USB-C port. So I like that they offered a feature of two USB, one USB-C. And there's a drawer, you guys, which is so nice. This drawer will be so nice because when I'm done with the workday, I can even put my notepads and my keyboard and my mouse in this, which will just be so, so nice. So that at the end of the day, it kind of helps me mentally log off even more. And the only thing that I will really have on top is a monitor. You guys know that I love bullet journaling. So I think that this is also gonna be really handy for using my bullet journal as well. Wow, I just feel like there are so many uses for this. It's not just for a working home setup, but I can use this for my own personal time too with my bullet journal or regular journaling or I could even use this if I wanted to as like a dining table, but this is gonna be my work from home station and I cannot wait. I can't wait, oh my gosh. I just wanna say a big thank you to FlexiSpot for gifting me this amazing desk. I do have a discount code for you guys if you wanna get a standing desk of your own from FlexiSpot. You can use the link in my description box to get $15 off. And if you guys didn't know, FlexiSpot is also really popular on Amazon too. So if this desk isn't the one that you want, then check Amazon as well. But if you want a discount, especially from me, at no cost to you, then you can use the link in my description box. Thank you so much to FlexiSpot for gifting me this. I cannot tell you guys how valuable a standing desk is gonna be in my apartment, because I have one in my office, but I don't have one in my apartment until now, so I just can't wait until the Wi-Fi starts working at this new place, and then I can actually work from this desk full time. It will be an absolute game changer and I just, I cannot wait. I just feel really grateful that such a well-known brand like FlexiSpot was so kind to gift me this and help me improve my work from home setup and my work from home experience. So I just, I couldn't say thank you enough. Thank you so, so much. Once I move in here fully and I can really get my work from home setup done here, I wanna do a whole revamped new work from home setup video for you guys because I feel like that's probably how most of you found my channel was through my work from home setup that I posted back in February. So stay tuned in the next couple of weeks or months as I perfect my new work from home station. But oh my God, I just feel like I leveled up. I'm just so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, that was the work from home station and standing desk. Now I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got from Target. <laughs> it's really nothing crazy, but I just got two Room Essentials organizers. So this is the one for my closet because I wanna move my clothes later tonight. And yeah, I just think this will be really useful because you need to make best use of your vertical space as Kiva says. And then I got this over the door shoe organizer actually for my laundry door laundry door i'm thinking i'll put this on the other side of my laundry door to put all of my like detergents and everything and cleaning supplies on the other side of that door but i'm not exactly sure if it'll work i hope it does but let's see and then after i put all this stuff away i need to unbox my vacuum there's like really nothing to show other than it's just a dyson vacuum i'm sure you guys have seen those before but i'm gonna clean up everything and then this place will be spotless this is not gonna work because i'm so short but okay I'm thinking that it will go like this. Does that make sense? Okay, let's let's put on the hooks and see. Okay. Oh my god, okay, I can't reach the help, I'm too short. Oh wait, this is so nice. You guys can't see, but I'm standing on my cart right now. But, ooh, okay. So then we can put this here. Here's the real test. Oh my God, it closes. So when you open this, oh my God. This will be so nice because now I can take out all of the cleaning supplies that's under my sink and put it there, look. Okay, so here's all of my cleaning supplies, like the sprays. <gasps> I 
I feel like you guys know I'm an adult when I get excited about organization and cleaning supplies. Like, am I okay? Ooh, let's put this one here. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> guys, this is so cool! Wait. Okay. Oh, hey, we're cleaning. Okay. <laughs> If you guys have a small space like me and you need a good use of vertical space for your cleaning supplies, seriously, you guys, this organizer was $10. And I know it's not cute, but it just, it doesn't have to be cute because no one's going to look at it. But wait, let's just put this here. Ooh, much better. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. And there's even room here for like my, um, I don't know, my dryer sheets. I can put those in there. <laughs> You're not going to see it anyways because it's going to be behind the closed door. And it's just the nicest way to keep your cleaning supplies hidden. Wow. <laughs> Let's just see what else I can put in here. Okay, so I have my, um, these are like my sponge replacement holder things. I can put those in here. <laughs> and then all of my extra soaps from Bath and Body Works. Why am I so excited about this? And then I have an extra Mr. Clean Eraser. I can put that in here. What? Oh my God, this is so pretty. <laughs> now I have so much more space underneath my sink, which is just so nice. I just need to show you one more time. Here is, <gasps> guys. That's so cool. And then in my bedroom closet, this is the one that's closest to my actual bed. I put the shoe organizer in the corner here because it's like kind of hard to reach anyways. And I think I'm just gonna put extra shoes in here because I have so many shoes and this will be really, really good. This was only $10 as well and it has 10 different spaces for shoes or I guess whatever you would like. I think it's nice to just kind of be able to tuck it away. Like you don't really need to look at your shoes that often anyways. So. That's the updates right now. I brought some clothes over, but it's pretty bare still. I have so many clothes I need to bring over and we will get to that. Maybe today, maybe not. And then the other thing I really need to figure out is my nightstands. I just, I, you guys, I cannot decide on the nightstands. I don't know why. I did get a rug from Rugs USA for both my bedroom and the living room. And then the couch will come. And then I feel like once the rugs come, I can kind of match everything to the rug, if that makes sense. I don't know if it should be the other way around but I just like cannot find the perfect nightstand. It's either $100 for like bad-ish reviews or it's like $400 for one from West Elm. So like, why is there nothing in between? I don't know. That's everything that we really had to do today. Thomas is actually coming over today too. So we're going to New York tomorrow which will be really fun. So I just wanted to do a lot of moving stuff today before we go to New York and I feel pretty proud. I feel pretty good about everything. Back to one. Isn't that so cool, you guys? And now it just looks like a regular desk. Okay, I'm gonna throw all the trash away, vacuum, and then I will talk to you guys soon, but wow. Well, it's done today. It's only 4 p.m. It's technically still like during the work day if I was working today, so. Okay, time to clean. Baby, you should get to know me Tapping into that good energy And I'm all for something carefree Pour a drink, have a seat next to me Here is the Dyson! Oh my gosh! It's so beautiful. This is the titanium color. If you guys can see it, it's like this pretty like, almost like Amazon green color. a little bit later it's 6 17 right now and i have some cookies and wine because my apartment complex was giving us like a wind down wednesday event and it was so nice i wish i got clips but i was like too embarrassed because everybody who was working there was there but um it was so nice they made like charcuterie boards and like had all these like plates of desserts and stuff and wine and beer so so i got myself some free wine to wind down from this long day of PTO. <laughs> I'm gonna save half of this cookie and brownie for Thomas when he comes. 
but who doesn't like free dessert? So good. It's funny because I'm like a chocolate chip cookie kind of girl, but when it looks like, you know, when it looks like it, there's like cookies that are in like the plastic bin from like Giant or something, I like to get the white chocolate macadamia cookies. I don't know why. The white chocolate macadamia cookies from Subway, it's like, that's always what it, always what it reminds me of when I see it. So I just always think it's gonna be the best one. And it's really good. Sugar. I've like really, I haven't eaten like a whole meal today. I've just been like snacking a lot. So I've been like running around everywhere, but you can never go wrong with sugar. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, this is the only thing that I got from Prime Day. It's the Echo Dot Generation 4. And I got the Glacier White color, which was like back ordered. I don't know why, but I just didn't want the black one <laughs> for absolutely no reason, just for aesthetic purposes. So I got the white one, but now you guys, it's July and if you want the white one, I'm pretty sure it says it's backed up until like October now. So I did good by waiting a couple of extra weeks for the white one now, but I can't hook it up or anything yet just cause I don't have wifi at this place, but I'm just like preparing things. More updates. Since I'm going to New York tomorrow, I'm not gonna bring my clothes over here just cause I still have to pack for New York and all of my clothes are at the other place. So maybe I'll at least show you guys what it looks like if you wanted an Echo Dot. I know that the third generation Echo Dots are a lot less expensive. I think they're like half the price, but the Echo Dot generation four is a different like shape. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a little sphere. The old one used to look like, you know, like a hockey puck, but that's what this one looks like. Again, I'm not really gonna like turn it on because there's just no point since I don't have Wi-Fi here yet, but I will leave that in the corner so that when I do get Wi-Fi, it'll be the first thing that I do. I really wanna get like smart light bulbs and hook them up to the Alexa so that I can just say, Alexa, turn the lights off. Mmm, <laughs> this cookie is exactly what I needed. Seriously, the last thing I have to do today, can, I'm gonna try to find nightstands. I just can't decide. I literally cannot decide. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, the couch, uh, 1251 is right here. And that's, I assume that this is the middle of the thing. And the couch yeah. end, basically. It's the couch ends like here. And that's enough space to put something on the side. It ends right there. Like this is, you can keep this centered, you can keep the couch centered, and then we can. I still think it just needs to go a little bit more that way. But let's not move it out. There, I mean, there's no couch in yet, anyways. Okay. Okay, wait, so yeah, this is if the couch goes to there. So yeah, if it goes to like here, then yeah, yeah, my chair will go here. So the chase will end like right here. But it'll be here. Do you think that will look weird? And then, okay. Okay, guys, guess who's here? Hello. <laughs> okay. So we moved the desk over a little bit over to the side and we're trying to get a sense of how long the couch is gonna look. So right now we have the couch ending. The chase is gonna be on the left side facing. So the chase should end like right in front of the desk and then this is how wide the couch will be. That's so weird that they say left side facing. Well, because yeah, if you're, if you're facing it, then it's on the left. Yeah, but my, instinctively I'm sitting it's on my right side. But that's sitting, not facing. It's so interesting. <laughs> but where the tape measure ends, this is the length of the whole couch. So I feel like it might be kind of tight, but I think, I hope we can make it work. Do you think so? We gotta make it work. Yeah, we have to make it work. It's honest, it's like 9.45 right now. It's probably 10 at this point. Didn't bring my clothes over, but I'll do that. I, I packed for New York, so. Here's everything that I'm bringing to New York for the weekend. We're there Thursday through Sunday. So I figured it didn't make sense to bring my clothes over here until after the trip. And then once I get the couch, then I'll get a sense of like, I'll probably put a corner lamp right there and maybe I'll get like the arch kind. Do you like the drawer? This desk is so nice. I know, it is really nice. Okay, well, I think that's everything for today. I think we got a lot done. Thomas really likes the shoe organizer idea. What do you think of it? It's genius. It is genius. I couldn't have come up with something, anything better myself. <laughs> it's genius. I definitely didn't come up with this idea, you guys. I definitely saw it in a video like years ago. I just don't remember where. I just know that I saw this shoe organizer and I was like, I definitely know what to do with this. So I just think it's such a good way to use your vertical space. And now I just have all this space underneath the sink for other things. <laughs> Wait, open it. 
Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it. <sighs> Why? What? You went like. <sighs> I'm just taking a deep breath. I'm trying to get that oxygen. Oh my god. Thomas and I will figure out the nightstands. I don't think we're gonna figure it out today, but we just. I'll figure it out. I need to figure it out. <laughs> it's not happening tonight. <laughs> it's not happening tonight. I think that's gonna be it for today's moving vlog. We got a lot done today. I unboxed my entire standing desk, vacuumed everything, organized my cleaning supplies, and, and yeah, we got a lot done. I think by the next moving vlog, I'll have my couch. So we'll be unboxing and putting together my couch and hopefully I'll have my rugs by then too because I really need those rugs to kind of like figure everything out. I'm just gonna go ahead and end today's moving vlog off here. I gave you a little sneak peek of what's coming next time, but I think we're making pretty good progress so far. Less decoration today, more functionality and stuff, but that's just how it goes. There's no rush. Although I want it to be done like right now. Leave a comment and let me know what you guys think of the vertical space shoe organizer and if you've seen it in other moving vlogs and apartment tours because I just love tips and hacks like that. And yeah, I guess that's everything. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, miss you already. I miss you already. Thomas is watching the entire time. I'm so proud. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha